Hello there, I'm Black Bright and broadcasting out of the UK and sticking my nose in Americans' business as usual. Yes, uh, for those of you who are first, uh, first time visiting my channel, I welcome you. Please subscribe, like, share. And um, yeah, I hope you like what I have to say. Today, I decided to talk about Donald Trump's attitude towards having Harriet Tubman on the $2 bill, on the $20 bill, replacing his idol, Jackson. Now, can you really, really imagine having Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill? Do you think that Donald Trump is going to really allow that? Has there ever, ever been a black person on US currency, apart from John Hansen, who they deny was a president, and he was on the back of, of one of those one of the dollar bills? And even then they're still denying it. There is no way. Can you imagine, you know, the kudos and the credibility you would be giving to black people if you put Harriet Tubman on, a, on the US currency? A country that is talking about getting rid of immigrants? And Harriet Tubman, I mean, as far as um, Trump is concerned, if it was today, Harriet Tubman would be an illegal immigrant. <laughs> she'd be, you know, victim of espionage. She'd be a treason. She'd be given a jail sentence. She wouldn't be seen as a hero, not today. For black people, she's a hero because she rescued so many from slavery. But can you imagine um, Trump trying her? I mean, the same way he's trying to get at the illegal immigrants and s trying to say that whoever helps them or whatever this and that is going to suffer the penalties. And can you imagine Harriet Tubman doing that in this day and age and seeing her face on a dollar bill? That is like rewarding her for bad behaviour. That's as far as Trump is concerned. That's not me. Because we know what for how Trump feels. I mean, the scorn. Oh, and people are saying we want a woman on the um, we want a woman on the dollar bill. We want to represent women, and we you know render gender and race and all of that should be out of the window. No, love, live in the real world. It's not out of the window. If they're going to put any female on there, it'd probably be Hillary Clinton or someone like that, or maybe even Melania Trump. Who knows? But definitely, definitely not Harriet Tubman. There is no way why Americans are going to look at that dollar bill and see a black person on it. You'll probably get people burning $20 bills. You can imagine. I'd love to see it, but boy, that ain't happening. Anyway, um, putting that aside, let's see who has been on the, um, on the US currency. Okay, Harriet Tubman was to replace um, President Andrew Jackson. That's not about to happen. If it does, it's not going to be in Trump's lifetime. Um, we've got George Washington on the $1 bill, and I think he's also on a coin. Thomas Gen Jefferson on the $2 bill. We've got Abraham Lincoln on the $5 bill. We've got Alexander Hamilton on the $10 bill. Andrew Dax Jackson on the $20 bill. He was a slaveholder. And um, he was the um, instigator of the 16,000 track of tears. You know, all of these slaves he took. So why? And that, Andrew Jackson, is supposed to be Trump's idol. So why would he replace him with a slave or somebody who used to be a slave? He's not going to do it. You're having a laugh. Ulysses Grant, he was on the $50 bill, and Benjamin Franklin, U.S. Ambassador, was on the $100 bill. 
Apparently, only dead people can be featured on US currency, unlike the UK, where Queen Elizabeth has been featured in more than 35 countries. Although, there is a couple of exceptions with America. Calvin Coolidge uh, what appeared on a US dollar bill, and of course, John Hansen um, on the back of the two dollar bill but they dispute that he was ever president. Apparently, he was the, one of the black presidents, you know. But, you know, they're not going to acknowledge that. They can't. Can you imagine if they actually acknowledged a black president? Their whole history would go up in smoke. I'm being facetious, as you can tell. Um... So I was just saying, in today's climate, Harriet would not be seen as a hero in the eyes of Trump, but an illegal immigrant, like I said before. He'd probably want to deport her. I don't know where, because she was born in America. But hey, um, it's got nothing to do with um, where you're born, it's what you look like. Same over here, the UK. Um, many of you would have heard that John Cleese was saying that um, London um, no longer looks like an English city. It's the same kind of thing. You know, it doesn't matter that you're born in the country. It's the colour of your skin that determines whether or not you're American or whether or not you're British or English. Um, OK, let's see about this. It was in April 2016 that I um, can't even read my own writing. But anyway, they decided to redesign um, the dollar, the $20 bill and incorporate women. And Tubman was meant to replace Jackson. Um, Harriet Tubman, a little bit about her. For those who do not know, she's a black woman first and foremost. Born and enslaved in 1822. Had a very bad childhood, was beaten and all sorts. Brutally beaten, neglected and starved. Um, took her own liberty and return to rescue families and friends, which was really brave. So can you imagine her doing that now? She'd be accessory to goodness knows what. So yeah, I just thought I'd put my two pence worth in, as troublesome as I am. And yeah, appreciate your comments. Bye-bye for now.